It's time now for our big man ball and brought to you by ESPN Bet, the official sports book of ESPN. Perk, what have you been seeing from Wemby? I mean, it's just been incredible in the month of February. I mean, doing everything on both sides of the floor. If on February the 12th of this year, he became the first rookie ever with a 10-block triple-double since David Robinson in 1990. Mm. That was six years before I was born, Malika, <laughs> by the way. Doing this thing. Okay, on February the 23rd, 20, 27, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 5 steals, 5 blocks. <laughs> Played fewer minutes in 5x5 five five games. Became the youngest player with a 5x5 five five game. All of that. And then yesterday, when we became the first player with 25 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, 5 blocks, and 5 three-pointers in a game all time. Not just rookies, all time. And the win against another rookie that he's trying to win up a rookie of the year against. Look, just look at this. I mean, over the last seven games, he's averaging just under 24 points. Is this his actual height, though? Yeah. Let me stand over here. Oh, you just have to. Yeah, that looks about that looks about proportionate, right? You can see here, though, this is just incredible. The company that he is joining. ESPN Bet is the official sports book of ESPN. New users get $100 there you go. bonus bets. You like that, Walt? You're making any sports book bet. <laughs> Check out Big Perk's Big Man Parlay exclusively in the ESPN bet app if you want to ride with Perk or any of the other big men. But, Brian, yesterday you said that despite the Spurs being last, right, Wemby wants to win now. He wants to win now. He played every single minute of the fourth quarter last night for the second straight game, the only two quarters where he's played all 12 minutes this season. So what's impressed you the most about him? Here, people aren't giving Wembenyama enough credit, enough attention, because not only is he playing awesome, this guy trash talks. This guy trash talks like you, and because he speaks with an accent and because he does it <clears throat> monotone, he doesn't get it. Listen to what he said after this game. Very important for me because it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm convinced that, I mean, I, I, you know, I am who I am. I'm, uh, I'm in the, the organization, you know, that trusts me. I'm, I'm convinced that um, the best way for me to have my team is by being uh, also individually performing and uh, you know on a, on a whole season. So it's a uh, so yes, individual awards like Rookie of the Year are very important for me. Okay, now I want you to think about in 2004, if LeBron James came out after a game after his team went two and ten in a month, which is what happened with Victor, and he said, "I'm him, and I want to win every award." Cold pizza would have gone into meltdown the next day. <laughs> okay? But Victor, because, he, because the way he talks about it, nobody does it. This guy, he was pissed off that he didn't win the skills challenge. He was angry at the All-Star Weekend because Anthony Edwards screwed around. He wants to win it all. He wants it all. And he just said it. I care about the individual awards. He said earlier, we talked yesterday, he wants his team to win. He said he wants to win the dunk contest, the three-point contest, the All-Star Game MVP. He wants to win everything and doesn't just, doesn't just do it. He talks about it. I'm telling you, this guy is a gem. The NBA is going to discover it. The idea that a Chuck Holmgren, Victor Wembanyama game was not going to be on national television, retired. Next year going forward, every time these two guys are going to play, it's going to be on national TV. Just, just wait and watch. Get on the train. <clears throat> Come on, five. It's NBA on the ESPN,